Now, Pope Francis has said laws that criminalise LGBT people are a sin and an injustice and that people who are attracted to the same sex are children of God. The Pope made the remarks uh, on a plane journey while returning from his historic visit to South Sudan. He said it's not right for some countries to still outlaw same-sex relations. Last month in an interview, the Pope said homosexuality is not a crime and called on Catholic bishops to welcome LGBTQ plus people into the church. Well, let's discuss uh, the significance of those remarks with Jane Ozan, who is an LGBT plus campaigner and a member of the General Synod, the Assembly of the Church of England. Uh, Jane, how significant are these comments, do you think? Well, Jane, I think uh, they're very significant. I'm not a Catholic. As you've said, I'm an Anglican who's part of the uh, Church of England's General Synod. But for the leader of the Catholic Church, that global huge body, to come out and say, look, this is not a sin. These are real people. These are people who are loved by God is, is quite a, a long way away from the harsh rhetoric we've had over the years. And I think it's part of a trajectory that the Pope has shown constantly since, well, since I met him in 2019, of wanting the Catholic Church to be pastoral in its approach. But we've still got a long way to go. You know, we're still saying that the, um, the, the sex between uh, two LGBT, uh, two people of the same sex is sinful and wrong. And, and that teaching is what can cause so much harm and pain, particularly amongst young LGBT people uh, growing up in churches. I, I believe as part of these comments that he made to journalists while they were on this, this flight back from South Sudan, he did also talk about the issue of marriage, uh, gay people getting married in church, and that that is still not something that's that's possible. Um, so is he is he trying to to balance balance two things here? Yes, he's wanting to have it always. In fact, I think the Archbishop of Canterbury, who was on the plane with him, would, would be in the same boat there. You know, they're trying to be, quote, LGBT friendly, but at the same time saying, well, you're still actually second class. You can't get married. You can't have sex. You can't be, you know, in a relationship that will bless. But, you know, if you want to get to Rome, you have to go in steps. And this is a step on the way. I think, if I may, one of the most important things is that they had with them the moderator of the Church of Scotland. And he, of course, um, uh, blesses and performs marriages of LGBT people. And so to be in communion with him, to take him with them on the journey, that too was a strong signal that he was prepared to be with other Christians who hold deeply different views and who are far more progressive in, in, in their approach to the LGBT community. Yes, really interesting. And exactly as you say, yes, he was there with the Archbishop of Canterbury, the moderator of the Church of Scotland. And, and Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, noted that the Anglican Church has its own internal divisions over the issue of gay rights. It's, it's very much um, a continuing conversation, debate, however, whatever word we want to use. But is your thought fundamentally that being this uh, as frank as they could be is still positive, is, is something of a step forward. It is a step forward. You know, we've moved away from telling us that we are completely disordered uh, and that uh, we should be shunned by the church. Both the Archbishop and the Pope were at pains to say that we are children of God and should be welcomed. But we have got a long way to go with seeing that work out in practice. And we have the General Synod next week where we'll be debating this. The critical thing, I think, is whether we learn to accept that people have differing views on this and to respect Christians like myself who believe that God uh, blesses me and wants me to celebrate the love I might have for another woman and who I might want to marry. Jane Azan, thank you very much. Interesting to hear your perspective. Thank you. Thank you.